Hi guys, it is Miss Holly and I am here to show you some of our resources for distance learning and virtual education. There will be a tour of the library and then the second part of the video will be a tour of the online catalog so you can look up how to put those things on hold from your house. This collection is called the Homework Center and it focuses on grades K through 8. It starts with the general books towards the left side there, and then it goes by alphabetical order of academic subject. So I'll show you one of the spine labels. So we have the first line is HC, that means homework center. Then the second line is the subject. This is language arts. And then the third line is the grade level. So we have four, fourth grade. And the fourth line is the initials of the title. So LF matches with language fundamentals. So after L comes N, after language arts will be math. And we have a lot of math. Math goes on for quite a while. And then we start the reading books. So HC, read. And then we start with K, and it goes to first grade, follow all the way up second grade, third grade, it kind of goes by grade level, and SCI for science, all those types of books. And then at the end of the Homework Center collection, we have our kits over here. So we have Hooked on Phonics, Hooked on Math, we have our Math Center Kit, Reading Center Kit, and down here we have different flashcards, hooked on phonics stuff, and for the workbooks we have overhead projector screens, so if you want to practice the workbooks without actually writing in them, that is what those are for. Right in front of me is the parent-teacher collection, and this is not just for academics, but for today's purposes, that's what I'm going to look at. So the 371 call number right here, point zero four two. that is going to be the homeschooling resources. So as you can see, we have classical curriculum stuff here and Charlotte Mason curriculum stuff there. And then 371.192, that's going to be more teaching resources. Um, and then something I want to show you guys as well are the mailbox magazine books we have. That is PTC 745.5. And then at the end of the PTC section we have all of these kits. We have different phonics and reading resources. We have different flashcards. And then down here some curriculum stuff. So we have Saxon Math and Write Source and <laughs> Reading in Action. So that's what we have down there in PTC. Then right across the way from PTC, right over here, we are going to have our foreign language collection in case any of you guys are doing at-home learning of Spanish, French, Polish, German, we have all those languages. We have CDs, DVDs, and then these are the little kits with books and CDs. So you can listen to it while you read along. We have some playaways, we have some muzzy and hooked on French, hooked on Spanish. We have the playaway launch pads, and then we have all our different foreign languages. These are the preschool, preschool kits right here in front of us. Um, there's a lot of manipulatives in there. And those backpacks, they are all themed. So let's, let's get up close so you can see. So, oh, here's a good one, school. And we have, what else do we have? Telling time. 
So as you can see on the list here, there's just a few things in the kit bags that can help your kids understand something like telling time or about school. And if we just go around the corner here, these are our STEM and early learning kits. So we have quite a few different topics on these. Um, let's take a look. Let's see. This one right here is a microscope. I don't know if you can see the, the title there. You can check out a microscope and look at things under that. And there's an early learning kit right here. The early learning kits are in black. There's black trim. And the stem has blue trim on theirs. <laughs> Pretty zoomed in, but there's the little bits one. The makey makey, Harry Potter coding wand. <laughs> and then right across the aisle are our launch pads. So these are preloaded tablets with sort of educational games on them. We have it from ages three to five, five to seven, and 8 to 10, and I believe, yes, some of the 10 plus. Right now we are facing the teen section. Keep going forward. I'm going to show you an ACT and SAT resource that was recommended by the Teen Advisory Board. So, YA nonfiction. So these are the flash cards and anyone can check them out. They are, ACT comes with 400 cards, SAT with 500. So that is a new resource from the Teen Librarian. So this is the library catalog's home screen. And if you want to look up any of these items and place them on hold from home, this is how you would do it. Um, I am already logged into my account here, but if you want to log into your library account, you just need your library card number. And the password, if you have never changed it before, is the word patron, P-A-T-R-O-N. But the first thing I'm going to look up is the STEM kits. So to find a list of all of the STEM kits that we have, we have to type in the search term Algonquin STEM kit. And it will give us a list of 36 items, 36 different STEM kits that we have here. And if you want to place anything on hold at all, this is how you will do it. You will go to this on the right here of each item. There are different options. If you want to place it on hold, it will take you to the hold screen. And you will just choose what library you want to pick it up at. If you want to pick it up specifically through the drive-through and not come in at all, you can pick that right here. And then this activation date thing, this is just in case maybe say you're going on vacation this weekend and you want to not have the hold go until you get back. That's what that would be for. Um, and I'm just going to go back because I don't actually want to put that on hold. But we can start looking for different things now. Um, so the next thing would be the early literacy kits. And to search for a full list of those, just like this, you will search Algonquin early learning kit and then we have 41 results here and here are all of our early learning kits and the next thing I am going to look up is that homeschooling section from the parent and teacher collection so the way I'm going to do that is I am just going to look up the word homeschooling and you will notice that the results, it has that PTC 371. So that's probably the easiest way to get to that collection. And if you want to modify any of your searches, you will notice on the left-hand side here, you can do that. So that'll really narrow it down for us here. If we just want stuff from, just want homeschooling books, we can narrow that down. We can narrow it down to stuff that is only downstairs. Click in juvenile here. Um, and anything with the numbers on it, such as that 371, is going to mean it is nonfiction. So we don't want like stories about people who are homeschooled. We want actual information. So I'm not sure if that narrowed it down too much, but definitely when we first had our first home screen for homeschooling, 
it had those books we wanted. But I just wanted to show you how to modify on the left hand side here. So I'm going to click back up at the home screen here to go back to the regular home screen of the catalog. And the next thing I am going to search for is maybe those homework center workbooks. So let's search workbooks. What will that come with? Oh, yes, HC Math is the first one here. So HC means homework center. So that is exactly what we were looking for, but maybe I just want maybe those kits from the homework center. How would I do that? Right over here, you will notice before we picked just books, but you can just pick kits. Um, and that just shows something that has a workbook in it, the STEM kit. Um, but another way to look for kits is if you just search, let's search reading comprehension. I believe we have some kits on that. And you're going to have to click out more sometimes, but yeah, so you can search different kits and different types of things, oh gosh, <laughs> from the side here and narrow it down so you can find exactly what you're looking for even if you don't have the shelf in front of you to browse. And one, one last thing I'm gonna show you here is clicking right back to that home screen of the catalog. If you scroll down just a little bit on the left hand side here, there is a lot going on that is easy to ignore if you don't know that it's there. But if you maybe just want to search just foreign language collections, we have that here already done for you. If you just want Spanish books for kids, let's click on it. Let's see what it does. So it has this code in it, this library code up here. Um, but it, all the results that are going to come up here are all books in Spanish that are in the children's department. I'm going to go back. And so for language, we have our most popular Spanish and Polish at the top, but we have more languages too if you want to use those. And let me see, one more thing here on the side that's kind of awesome is our library of things. So this is a new collection that is mostly upstairs in the adult department, but I think anyone could really use them, um, adults, kids, teenagers. If you just click on that, again, you're going to see all this crazy coding up here, but that is just telling this catalog what we want. We just want the library of things. So look at all this crazy stuff you can get from the library. It's kind of awesome. Go to the second page so you can see more of the things. Um, and this right here, this mobile hotspot, this has been really popular during this whole 2020 pandemic year. So this would be the search term you would look use to find this in the catalog. So let's go up to the top and I'll show you what I mean. We'll go to the home screen. Um, and you know, let's just search hotspot. Let's see if that works. I think that might work actually. Yes, so you can check out a hotspot from the library. You can also reserve the hotspot for a specific date. Just gotta click on this here. Um, and this will be helpful maybe if you have internet issues at home, um, you can definitely check one out from the library. All right, so that is how you search for most of those things. Oh, let me not forget about the young adults. <laughs> um, so you just search Baron Study Flashcards. Real quick for all any high schoolers that are watching. All right, so our high school teen librarian is awesome and has ordered these. Um, the teen advisory board told her that a lot of them were buying them on their own and only using it once. So that's what the library is for. We have two copies of each if you want to practice for the ACT or SAT. So that is about it for the catalog part. So that was it for today's video about our collections for virtual and distance learning, but on August 18th I will be posting another video about using the library's databases and online library for the same topic, virtual learning and distance education. Bye!